missed an episode of your favorite podcast, choose from over a decade of content in our archives. Not just the latest episode. All free at GCNlive.com. Good morning, greetings, friends. And welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements in my practice where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 28 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis and eczema and rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure, because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment to moment basis and while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is no miracle at all, it is simply the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, if you want to get off your medications and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. Our number today is 844-236-6010. 844-236-6010. We'll get your phone calls here in the bottom of the hour. If we've left you on hold in the past, please call back, tell our call screener, and we'll get you first up, 844-236-6010. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear advertised on the program, recommended on the program, you can order products directly from the websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can also call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. And if you want to sign up and join the Brightside Ben team, Tell tell folks at the phone team, 866-735-2470, that you want to join the Brightside Ben team. Or you can sign up right off the websites, brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. Okay, thanks for joining us on the Bright Side. We're talking skin health as it relates to the body. Not the skin by itself, but as it relates to the body. The skin obviously is a part of the body, even though we don't always think of it that way. If you have a skin health problem, you got a body problem. If you have a dry skin or acne or eczema or rosacea or psoriasis, you have an internal, systemic, global body issue. And this encapsulates the problem with dermatology and the medical treatments and even cosmetics. How we address our skin care problems do not take into account the nature of the skin as part of the body. I've been formulating skin care products and compounding prescription products for the skin for many years, decades, 32 years. I was trained and educated in the early 1980s. I've been refining and honing my understanding of the skin from a research perspective, an academic perspective, a therapeutic perspective, a medicinal perspective, a formulating perspective. I've worked with hundreds, if not thousands of patients and their skincare problems, and what I've discovered is this. Skin health problems are like having yellow leaves on an unhealthy plant. And just like you're not going to change your yellow leaves or the yellowing condition of your leaves on your unhealthy plant by painting them or covering them up or cutting them off, you're not going to change your acne or your Uh, eczema or your psoriasis or whatever your skin condition is by smearing something on your skin. You're not going to change your pimples by putting benzoyl peroxide on them or clindamycin on them. Or you're not going to change your pimple condition. You're not going to change your skin cancer condition with chemotherapy, with topical uh, 5-fluorouracil, 5-FU, which is a a, a topical anti-skin cancer cream. You may kill the cancer temporarily, but you're not going to change the condition. A skin issue is a body issue, and to strengthen the body and to restore the body back to its divinely mandated state of health, to reverse, truly end skin conditions, you've got to address the body. 
all health and recovery and elimination of disease and sickness starts with building the body. We got to be bodybuilders. I always tease people when I'm, when I'm talking to them on the phone, when they're telling me about their cancer or their osteoporosis or whatever their health condition is or skin condition. I always say, you got to be like a bodybuilder. Go get bodybuilding magazines. Go get weightlifter magazines. Be Arnold Schwarzenegger. Be an athlete. If an athlete is doing something, we want to do it. If somebody is, is uh, uh, upregulating or enhancing their athletic performance by using nutritional supplementation, we want to be paying attention. If they're upregulating or enhancing their athletic performance through dietary strategies, we want to pay attention. We're all athletes. Just getting our butt out of bed in the morning is an athletic event. We want to treat our bodies like it's a high perform, like it's an, uh, uh, the high performing body of an athlete, even if we're 70 years old, even if we're sedentary. Even if we're IT people and we're working in an office or salespeople working in a cubicle, we still need to treat our bodies as if we were bodybuilders and athletes. We correct digestive issues. Do a food diary. Write down foods. These are the basics. No matter what our problem is, no matter what our health condition is, even if we don't have a health condition and we just don't want to get one, work on the digestive system. Write down the foods we're eating. Practice intermittent fasting. Stop eating for a day, for two days. Someone asked me a couple weeks ago, how do, you to, how do you do a fast? I just thought that was crazy. I, you know, it didn't dawn on me that I'd need to explain how to do a fast, but how do you do a fast? You stop eating. People ask, do I take my supplements when I'm fasting? Well, you can. It's not the end of the world if you take your supplements. It's not going to destroy your fast. And also, likewise, it's not going to be the end of the world if you skip a day on your supplements. The point is, is you want to give your digestive system a break, a food holiday. Most people, most of our, uh, most digestive symptoms, or I should say most digestive systems have not had a break in, in, in their entire lives. If you haven't fasted for one day in your entire life, that means your digestive system, your intestines, your stomach, your digestive juices, your pancreas, the liver, all of the, the components of what we call the digestive system haven't had a break ever. What other system can say that? What, what other system is bombarded with processing and work and, and, and resor using resources in the body like the digestive system? No system requires more resources and is abused more than the digestive system. These strategies may sound simple, but they're not simplistic. They're simple, but they're not simplistic. We think simple means infantile. It doesn't. It means basic. It means fundamental. Albert Einstein said, if you can't explain something to a six-year-old, if you can't explain something so a child can understand it, you don't understand it yourself. If your doctor can't understand, can't explain to you what the heck's happening in your body without going into some convoluted medical explanation, he doesn't understand it himself. It's not complicated. These ideas of building the body and strengthening the digestive system, stabilizing the blood sugar system, relaxing, lightening up, removing chronic stressors, you can use them to address every single health condition you have that involves degeneration, chronic degeneration. I'm talking Alzheimer's and Parkinson's and osteoporosis and skin conditions, whatever. This is so, not only is it effective and not only is it simple, it's stuff we can do ourselves. It empowers us. It takes the power away from the priest, the medical priest, the medical deity. It takes the power away from him and puts it back where it belongs, in our laps. And by the way, I'm not talking about individuals. When I rip on this, this, this impotent and really nefarious medical model that steals our power from us, I'm not talking about individual doctors. Let me be clear here. The individual doctors are not bad people for the most part. And I have lots of friends who are doctors. But it's the model, it's the paradigm that says, oh, I've got a rash, I better go to the doctor. Or oh, I've got uh, uh, acne, what kind of antibiotic can I take? Or I have high blood pressure, I better get an antihypertensive. It's this paradigm, this model. It doesn't serve us. That's why we're sicker than ever. That's why we got the sickest culture ever in the history of mankind. And simultaneously, we have more doctors per capita than, the history, than any other culture in the history of mankind. Do you know the latest fancy medical theory for, about acne involves something called ductal hypoxia? I love that term, ductal hypoxia. Ductal meaning in the duct, the follicle, the pore of the skin. Hypoxia meaning low oxygen. Now, where have you heard that before? If you've been listening to this program for any length of time, you know we're always talking about oxygen and respiration and keeping oxygen flowing through the blood and flowing to the tissues. 
This is a major cause of distress and disease. Well, in case of acne, the same thing. Now you've got medical verification, ductal hypoxia. Uh, ductal hypoxia is a cause for acne. It's the latest thing. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. Got more to say. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll take your phone calls in the bottom of the hour. We'll be back after this. the right side. Pharmacist Ben here. Got lines open for you. 844 Hang tight. If you're on hold, we'll get to you here in our next segment. If you're interested in purchasing any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program or recommended, please call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. Make sure you ask about the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, my personal favorite longevity product. I'm sipping on it as we speak. It's powder. You add it to water and drink. It's a wonderful way to get your water-soluble nutrients that we lose throughout the day electrolytes, potassium, and calcium, and sodium, and magnesium, as well as vitamin C, and the all-important B complex. Beyond Tangy Tangerine, call the Brightside Ben phone team, tell me you want some BTT. Beyond Tangy Tangerine, 866-735-2470 is their number. You can also head over to my website, brightsideben.com, or my blogs, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. I've got lots of good posts up there, and news stories, and you can also order products right off the website. Okay. From the Journal of the American Academy of Dermatology, ductal hypoxia in acne is it the missing link between comedogenesis and inflammation. In other words, is a lack of oxygen inside the pore, inside the follicle, the missing link between pimple formation and inflammation? Yes. Well, I don't know if it's the missing link, but it's certainly involved. We talk about this all the time. Where have you heard this before? Oxygen. It's one of the big three causes of disease. There's a triangle, a triad, as you know, if you've heard this program, we talk about it all the time. There's a triad of, of breakdowns, of biochemical breakdowns that occur before any disease shows up. Skin diseases or autoimmune diseases or, God forbid, cancer are all preceded by a lack of oxygen to the tissues, starting with a lack of oxygen in the blood, Blood sugar issues, what I call the high blood sugar, low blood sugar roller coaster, and the digestive system. And you guys, this is so important because it simplifies everything. It means that by focusing on the digestive system and the blood sugar system and oxygenation, respiration, we can modify this, uh, the disease prognosis or the, disease, the, the development of the disease state on our own. There's no drugs that can do this. No doctor strategy or surgery that can do this. This is our business and our business alone as it should be. Ductal hypoxia and acne. Where have you heard this before? At the root of all breakdowns, you're going to find starvation, suffocation, toxification, leading to inflammation. Starvation, meaning lack of nutrients, lack of the mighty 90 nutrients, suffocation, a lack of oxygen, and toxification, meaning a, a accumulation of toxicity in the blood, and that includes sugar. Correct digestive issues. Strengthen the digestive system. Use your blood sugar control. Get on the sweeties, chromium, vanadium, the B vitamins from your Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Pay attention to what we're eating. Lay off the corporate swill. McDonald's could care less about your acne or your wrinkles or your osteoporosis. They could care less. I love the new, they, they fired yet another uh, chairman of the board at McDonald's. They can't figure out why their sales are dropping. Yeah, they got a new marketing plan. They got to have a new commercial uh, advertising campaign because nobody's buying their hamburgers anymore, or less people are buying their hamburgers. Why? I wonder why that is. Is it because we need a new commercial? We need a new advertising campaign? McLovin it. No, because the food sucks. It's quick, it's fast, it's cheap, but it sucks. And it definitely is behind health issues. Do you ever see that movie? Oh, uh, what the heck was that movie called? Where Morgan Spurlock eats, eats McDonald's for three weeks. I forgot, the fa I forgot what the name of the movie was. This guy named Morgan Spurlock, who's a muckraking journalist, goes and eats uh, three uh, McDonald's for, I don't know, two months straight. And then he tests his, all his health markers. Look up Morgan Spurlock and, uh, gosh, I forgot the name of that movie. But if you, uh, if you know what it is, give me a call, 844-236-6010, and tell us what it is. It's not just McDonald's, though. It's just the way we live our lives, you guys. And for the medical model to promote antihypertensives and beta blockers and cardiac ablation, i.e. destruction, and thyroid ablation, i.e. destruction, for Graves' disease and, and, and hypertension and arrhythmias, it's just not fair. And it's not right. We've got to pay attention to the 
bare bones basics. Get on the Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients. Breathe, relax, and all health issues will improve just by doing that. And for superficial reasons, purely vanity reasons, we're going to look better too. We'll have less wrinkles. We'll age slower. We'll keep more hair on our heads. And on top of that, we'll have better bones and muscles. And for my friend from yesterday, taste buds too. Well, better taste buds. We'll be able to taste things. Of all the skin health issues we complain about, wrinkles and, and plaques and eczema and thinning skin, dark spots, psoriasis, acne, nothing is more common as a skin, camp, uh, skin complaint than what is called xerosis. Technically, xerosis, colloquially dry skin. The skin moisturizer business is a hundred million dollar a year business and the profit margins. Oh my God. This is why bookkeepers get in the skincare business. This is why bankers get in the skincare business. Not because they love the skin, not because they know about the skin, not because they care about the skin. Bookkeepers care and bankers and marketers, they care about the profit margin and the profit margin on skin products is ungodly. 80 to 90% of your moisturizer is water, no matter what you're paying for it. And the rest is wax and, and cheap, non-food grade, rancid, soy oil and corn oil, sunflower oil, maybe a little window dressing. Maybe if you've got some kind of fancy schmancy product, you get some shea butter or cocoa butter or some essential oils. None of which, none of which can make a speck of difference in the health of our skin. None of it. That's right. I don't care if Jennifer Aniston or, or Cindy Crawford or some French doctor is telling you to use it. It's not going to help your skin. And even worse, because oil and water don't mix, and because oil opposes moisture, occlusion, which is the, the uh, fancy way of saying covering up, covering up or occluding your dry skin with vegetable oil and wax, which is like a solid oil, and that includes beeswax, by the way, is only going to further suppress and further diminish the skin's ability to moisturize itself. The more moisturizer you use, the more you're going to need. The more moisturizer you use, the drier your skin will be. Check that out. Well, what does that say about our culture? What does that say about the way we treat our skin? What does that say about the way we treat health? The more moisturizer you use, the drier your skin will be. The more moisturizer you use, not only are you not helping your skin moisturize, you're making your dry condition worse. And even sneakier, it's keeping us hooked on the wax and the oil and the lotion and the creams that are causing and exacerbating the problem. If you're one of the millions of Americans with dry skin, please understand this. Skin moisturization is not a topical issue and it cannot be corrected with a standard issue moisturizing cream, no matter how much you're paying for it. It's a nutritional issue. It's an internal issue. And this is where vitamins come in. Internal vitamins as well as topical vitamins. From an internal nutritional perspective, dry skin needs to be considered a fat issue, an EFA issue an essential fatty acid issue. You're way better off using your ultimate EFAs than you are smearing a moisturizer cream on if you have dry skin. Of course, it's not just taking your EFAs. It's not just getting your fats. It's also malabsorption or making sure you're absorbing your fats. It's equal, uh, lack of intake and malabsorption are probably equally common. And both, maybe. You can have both malabsorption and a lack of intake. That's probably common too. Vitamin A, your anti-skin dryness vitamin. Vitamin A is a secretory vitamin, meaning it improves secretions. It enhances secretions of all bodily fluids, digestive juices, respiratory fluids, tears, and the secretion of moisture factors from skin cells. If you have any dry issues, vitamin A is a go-to vitamin, one of what I call the dynamic duo of skin vitamins. That's all dryness, including dry eyes. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We're coming back with your phone calls right after this. Don't go away. Okay, we are back on the side. Pharmacist Ben here. Thanks for joining us. 844-236-6010 is our number. Gina, my friend Gina in Portland just said, uh, sent me an email. Hi, Gina, by the way. Um, the movie was Super Size Me, Morgan Spurlock's movie. He eats a bunch of McDonald's for two months or so, and he just, it's unbelievable what happens to his body, his cholesterol, his blood pressure, his weight, etc. Now, he, he obviously went to extremes, but... You know, and I don't want to pick on McDonald's. It's not their fault. It's not Burger King's fault. It's not fast food's fault. It's our fault. We gotta, we're complicit here. I remember a couple of years ago when Fukushima hit, everybody wanted potassium iodide. I had all these calls for potassium iodide in my pharmacy. I felt like the dumbest pharmacist ever because I didn't 
it didn't dawn on me that I could have had all this potassium iodide. I, I'd be retired now selling people potassium iodide, which is supposed to protect you from radioactive iodine, which it does. Of course, I couldn't get any potassium iodide. I immediately, as soon as the phone started ringing, I started making phone calls, and nobody had any potassium iodide. In any case, as much as people wanted potassium iodide for anti-radiation, when I drove home from work, I noticed that the lines at McDonald's were just as long as they were the day before Fukushima, and the lines at Taco Bell. People still ate their Taco Bell and their McDonald's, but everybody wanted potassium iodide. You know, this is, this is, there's a disconnect here between how we live our lives and how we treat our health issues. For some reason, I don't, you know, it just, it doesn't click. We, we don't make that connection. It's not an obvious connection that we have control over our pimples and over our blood pressure and over our uh, arrhythmias and over our autoimmune diseases and over our cancer and over our health and over our wellness. I think this is great news. I think this is so powerful. It frees us. It's liberating. It really, when you think about it and you, uh, if you understand how disease shows up and our complicity and our participation in the disease process, once we understand it and then once we leverage and exploit the healing properties that are built into the skin and built into our cells and built into our tissues, we never have to go to a doctor again. Can you imagine this? Never. You'll never have to step foot into a doctor's office again. You'll never have to uh, fill out an insurance form for a prescription drug or, or, or a medical procedure ever again. That is so cool. That's so powerful. That's why I do this program. You can experience this for yourself simply by fasting. Just get a one-day fast. If you have an autoimmune problem, if you have an inflammatory health condition, just one day's fasting will make a huge difference, and you'll notice it yourself. Eliminating one problem food, just one problem food, you'll notice a difference yourself. All of this is in the way of not beating anybody up, but of elevating us of making us feel more powerful, of helping us feel more powerful, more in control of our bodies, more in control of the healing process, the divinely mandated healing process that we are all privy to, that we are all have access to. We all have access to the divine power. No intermediary is needed. The old days, the priest was the intermediary. We don't need the priest. Today, the doctor is the intermediary. We don't need the, the doctor either. Medicine means middle. comes from the word middle. It's a middleman. Medicine is a middleman. It inserts itself, it insinuates itself between us and our healing powers. Oh, we'll take care of you. Here's a nice drug. Oh, we'll take care of you. Gallbladder pain? We'll just take that gallbladder out of silly little thing. You don't need that silly little gallbladder. Ovaries? Ha <laughs> ha. You don't need your ovaries. You got some cramps? You got endometriosis? We got an answer. We'll just take out your womb. And then no endometriosis. Just don't go in there and tell, tell your uh, doctor you have a headache because he'll want to cut your head off. No head. No head. You won't have a headache. All right. I'm just kidding around. 844-236-6010 is our number. Uncle Jed in Kentucky. Good morning. Welcome to the Bright Side. What's up? Hey, uh, I, uh, I was training for uh, 5K. I used to run. I mean, there was time, uh, oh, gosh, 15 years ago when I, I could uh, I would run half marathons every weekend. I'm going to want to ask you some advice about it, but first, can I say a few things about your skin talks you've been having the last few days? Loving it. Wanted to Thank say you. it's great as usual. Thank great you. Great as usual, but I, w I want to clarify one thing because the skin is an excellent way to deliver uh, uh, nutrients, medications, or toxins to your organs. That's what true. You rub on your skin is more important than what you don't rub on your skin is more important nearly than what you eat. It goes more inside your body, really, than your digestive system. If you put I've, the thing about my health, I think I, it suddenly, bam, it's blown up. Of course, I've been doing the uh, tangy tangerine, but I have quit using any skincare product. You don't need them. Good for you. Put some nutrition on there. If you, if you put some vitamin C on there and some vitamin A, but you're right. You don't need any standard issue skincare products. I, I, I've been doing this many years, and that's, I, I, I'm on board with you. Especially coconut the preservatives. Oil, olive oil, coconut oil, olive oil. But, uh, you know, and there's some things you know that, uh, that, you know, with a heart problem, if you can get some magnesium uh, to rub on the skin, some kind of topical, that you, that you can have a lot of effect. So it does have a lot of effect. I mean, talking fast effect and strong effect. So when you put poisons on there and rub it on because somebody sold it to you at the wall. Right. It, it's not smart. Okay. Now, vitamin C and vitamin A, I would be using those on a regular basis, especially if you're 62. You live in Kentucky, right? Is that right? Yeah. 
Yeah, so you're probably yeah. getting some sun. You may want to put some topical vitamin C on the skin, especially if you're doing marathons, if you're running out in the, if you're, you know, in the sun oh. a lot. Oh, no, topical. no, 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 here's the point about the, I'm not, I'm not, I am in the sun a lot, but the sun is great for you, yeah. But I do use uh, oils and lotions, but I'll, t- I'll, I'll take your advice, I'll write it down. My vitamin A, vitamin... Vitamin A and vitamin C. Now, here's the thing about vitamin A and vitamin C, and I'll let you ask your question in a second, Jeff, but just let me say this, and I've said it before, but I'll say it again. If you're deficient or you have malabsorption issues, your body will partition, it will shunt vitamin A and vitamin C that you are getting to the lungs and to the heart and to the internal viscera, to the internal organs, and it will take it away from the skin. So by putting vitamin A and vitamin C on the skin, you can bypass this problem and get the vitamin A and vitamin C right to the, the, the fiber-making cells and the skin cells on the surface and that way as the body shunts the vitamin a redirects the vitamin a and c into the heart into the you know the more critical organs inside the body you're still going to get the vitamin a and vitamin c in the skin and that's the advantage to using it topically how, how can i help you jed what's your question buddy well the, well I, I want to tell you uh, that uh because i think of again uh the nutrition and the tangy tangerine and a lot of your advice putting uh coconut oil uh sea salt uh, cooking uh, my vegetables that my aunt 93 year old she's had a lot of uh a lot of uh, physical and even some uh, mental, uh, but definitely a lot of strength coming uh, coming back on to her. That's She's awesome. been using things you know, me now, but uh, I was able to get up off my stuff where I sit and cogitate and meditate and think about because I haven't run in years, man. And I ran, uh, you know, and I'll take a streak of running for a few weeks. But I ran uh, with uh, my cousin three days after I took the first step over for years. Uh, three miles, and it was about 37 minutes. What he remembered is the uh, as as this uh, 5K course, three miles and an eighth is what's supposed to be. But I'm running now uh, for about eight days, and I've made tremendous progress. I don't have an actual, you know, I just ran my car around uh, where uh, you know uh, uh, some gravel roads so I could get. Uh, I had a little three uh, three eighth mile loop, and and yesterday I ran this eight times for the three miles supposedly, and, but he said it was a uh, 35 minutes. Not very impressive. Uh, but I've only been doing it for eight days. You understand? That's impressive but, to me. That's a 12-minute mile. That sounds pretty darn impressive. Now, how old are you, was, Jed? How old are you, buddy? When I was 62. When I was, when I was uh, 15 years ago, I was running 3.7 because I was in my, like, 50s, and so was Bush, and it made me so angry that he ran <laughs> three. So he ran a 5K in under, like, under 21 minutes, right at 21 who, minutes. Who did? Oh, George W.? W? George W.? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yep. All right. But anyway, I got to where I could do that then, but it's going to be hard to get back to that level now. I could win my weight division easy on Uncle eight Jed, minutes. I, I got to take a, I got to take a break. Come back. When we come back, I'll get you up here, but ask me a question. I got a bunch of people I want to get to. All right? Hang tight, Uncle Jed. If you're on hold, stay there. We'll get to you when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We're back on the bright side. Uncle Jed in Kentucky. Give me a question here, bro. I want to uh, get okay. some more calls. I, What's up? Two things that I have uh, what, that I haven't been doing that I thought might help me to uh, to increase uh, uh, just pretty quick was uh, like a good uh, quality whey protein and uh, an oxygen cleanse. Have you seen those? Mm, those breathing is your oxygen cleanse. That's the best oxygen yeah, cleanse. Slow well, deep breathing. I was going to say, no, well, look, yeah. Uh, we, we talked about breathing in the past. I don't know if you remember, but I had called you about breathing, and I, and, uh, and I couldn't run that distance without breathing. I have double people's uh, uh, distance. They're able to run in in days just by teaching them to breathe. So I believe in breathing. As a matter of fact, uh, tell your audience that oxygen therapy is the biggest thing, but it's free. I just can't <laughs> get 90 people I tell about it to listen to it, that if you breathe intentionally, you can give yourself oxygen therapy. That's right. That's exactly right. And you can do hyperbaric oxygen where they drive you know, high-pressure oxygen, but it's not necessary. Like you say, slow, deep breathing. You could do it from the comfort of your living room or your couch, and it's super relaxing. It's alkalinizing. It'll lower your blood pressure. It'll reduce inflammation. I mean, it's endless, the benefits of oxygen, almost to the point where disease is really, in many ways, a manifestation of oxygen deficiency. Got to move, Uncle Jed. Thank you so much. I always love Do you have anything else? Well, there was just a thing about the, uh, the, the cleansing that would uh, remove weight really quickly because it's not, 
it's dead weight in the bowel, and I, that's why I asked that. Yes, that's right. Oxygen cleansing is a great way to clean the, clean the bowels. And also, pre, uh, before you're eating, making sure you're practicing deep breathing before you're eating or even while you're eating. Oxygenation is important for how the body processes food. How the body derives energy from food requires oxygen. So if you have problems with oxygenation, problems breathing, if you are inflamed and, and the body's clogged up, you're not going to be able to extract energy and nutrients from your food as effectively. So slow, deep breathing before you're eating and even making sure you're breathing correctly while you're eating can help you access nutrition much more much more re access your nutrients and much more readily uh, than in a hypoxic or low oxygen state i'm going to move on jed thank you so much for your call i love talking to you love hearing your words of wisdom that was uncle jed in kentucky uh, let's go to steve in virginia welcome steve what's up bro hi uh, good morning i uh, had a couple questions uh just an opinion if you have one on something we've seen advertised i uh, heard of it's called a near sauna and a, a near what's it called a near sauna a sauna of some kind far and infrared is it, is it a far infrared sauna is that what they're talking about yeah a near i i don't know really any other uh N -E -A -R, is that how you're saying it near sauna like N -E -A -R? yeah i believe so yeah you know, I don't know, I haven't heard of that term, a near sauna, but there is something called a far infrared sauna, and uh, that is a sauna that utilizes a special lamp that emits uh, infrared light, uh, and it is, there's some, a lot of wonderful benefits to a far infrared sauna. You can get them kind of cheap, and you don't have to have a big, they, they're sort of portable, you don't have to have a lot of room, you don't have to have them constructed or anything, and if they're under $1,000, you can actually have them, you can actually have a, a, a portable far infrared sauna, uh, buy a por portable far infrared for red sauna and you know what and i think you might be thinking about near infrared is it near infrared does that sound right i think that might be it yeah okay there's far infrared and there's near infrared and it has to do with the the kind of uh, frequencies that are emitted out of these uh, out of these lamps and they're both effective and they both have benefits uh, both the near and the far infrared technology and you know what it's not a bad idea to get one they're portable they're cheap and uh, it might be something to think about just if you're wanting if you want to you know dot all your i's and cross all your t's when it comes to health it's not a bad idea at all yeah okay and i i just had another question uh, uh, for someone uh, we know uh, that we have, as far as gingivitis uh, gum disease condition, yeah uh, that's uh, what would be good nutrients. Lots uh, of things, lots of things. The gums are connective tissue. They're like the bones, and everything we're talking about with wrinkles is also connective tissue. You know, a lot of folks, I'm getting these, some of these letters, people want to know, you know, they don't want me here to talk about skin as much, and uh, the, it's all the same thing. We're talking about skin, but it has to do with the gums, it has to do with the bones, it has to do with 40 or 50% of the body that we call connective tissue. So treating your gums is the same thing as treating your skin or your bones. Vitamin C, that's the major player in the develop in the um, secretion or in the production of connective tissue. Gum disease, think vitamin C. Uh, the B vitamins are also very important. Folic acid and vitamin B12 may be involved in gum disease. Coenzyme Q10 plays a role in protecting the gums, uh, making sure you're supplementing with coenzyme Q10. If your body's acidic because it's toxic, that can cause gum problems. So making sure you're correcting digestive issues. Listen, I know I'm saying the same thing over and over again, but that's just the way it is. It is the same thing over and over again. So for gum disease, for wrinkles, for bones, just the same strategies, protein and vitamin C and the B complex uh, and coenzyme Q10 seems to have a particular uh, relevance for uh, gum disease. Topically, you can do some interesting things if you have gingivitis or gum disease. You can take a toothpick and stick it in between your teeth and kind of press gently on the gum. And that will disturb bacteria, number one, and it will also toughen or, or strengthen the gum tissue. You take a Q-tip and you got to be careful with it a little bit. And you poke it in between your teeth and you sort of massage gently at the gum with the Q-tip. And that can have a beneficial effect. Coconut oil, doing this thing called coconut or oil pulling, can have a benefit for the, uh, for the gums where you take some coconut oil. I do this every morning and every night. Take a little orga uh, organic cold-pressed coconut oil and uh, swish it in your, just swish it around in your mouth and through your gums and kind of spit it or roll it around in your mouth for 5 or 10 minutes or 15 minutes every day, once or twice a day, and that can have a beneficial effect for gum disease also. So those are, those are a lot of good strategies that you can use, but mostly you want to treat gum disease as a sign that the body is starting to break down and do all of the things that we do to build the body back up, digestion, blood sugar, nutritional supplements, protein, etc., etc. And I know I say the same thing over and over again, but that's just the way it is. 
is. It is the same thing over and over again. All right, Steve, thanks so much for your call. I'm going to move on. Okay, buddy? Say hi to Rose for me, too, by the way. Hey. All right, uh, Tom in Nevada. Got a couple more minutes. What's going on, bro? Yes. Hi, Brightside Ben. I really appreciate your philosophy and your program. Thank you. I appreciate I, you saying that. To preface my question, I, I want to mention a book that I recently read that's really been an eye-opener. Speaking of dentistry... It's yeah. called Whole Body Dentistry by uh, Dr. Mark Briner. Have you heard of the book? I have not heard of the book. Dr. Mark Briner? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, You're... it's a very thorough discussion of dentistry in a holistic way and how it relates to our other health problems and so on and so forth. And the reason I'm calling is I had a dentist uh, recently recommend that I have an asymptomatic tooth uh, root canal. And, uh, and he's basing his, his recommendation on an x-ray. Uh, just looking at what he thinks might be an infection going on in the tooth. And and this is not mentioned in any way in this book at all, <laughs> although he talks a lot about root canals. Well, you know, so infections... I'm inf what might be going on, and if you've had experience with, with root canals and so on. Infections in the teeth you don't want to mess around with. It, it could get, they can, uh, bacteria can get in the blood, and it can be, right. a lot of folks feel like there's a relationship between circulatory and health, uh, cardiac health problems and, and gum disease and, and bacteria in the gums and, and in the root, and it's nothing you want to play around with. Infections are a little bit different. And then chronic degenerative disease. I'm not saying yay or nay, but I'm just saying it's something you want to be careful with. I'm very interested about this book, though. It's called Whole Body Dentistry, and I'm assuming by the title that it has something to do with treating the whole body to treat the teeth. Is that correct? That's correct. This that sounds Dr. awesome. Dr. works very, very closely with, uh, with naturopaths and so on and, and, and just talks a lot about how many of our problems uh, health-wise are related to the bacteria in the mouth. <laughs> well, he's, you know, he's right. And there's a link between the whole body and the mouth and between the, the mouth and the whole body. It goes both ways. And I love that idea. And this is what we've been talking about. It's all the same system. The body is a, it's a field. That is the, the little toenail. Your little toenail is connected to your brain instantaneously. They're all, it's, a, it's like a field. You know, the whole idea of a field is sort of a, a mysterious kind of idea how uh, energy from the moon can pull water on the earth. How is it that, that some kind of emanation from the moon can pull water from the earth to create tides, morning tides and evening tides? Well, there must be some way that the moon is connected to the water on the earth. Well, how does this occur? It does, seems like it's just empty space between the moon and the earth. Well, it's not. The moon is connected to the earth through something called a field. And this is a very interesting phenomenon that we've only known about for about 120 or 130 years. Fields. Well, the body is a field too. All the parts are connected to each other, and you cannot treat one part of the body without addressing the whole body. And this is the major theme of what I call the bright side philosophy, and it's why medicine is a failure. Chronic medicine for treating chronic degenerative disease, that is, is a failure because it does not address the holistic, field-like nature of the body. To treat the teeth, you got to treat the digestive system. To treat the teeth, you got to know about your bowel movements. To treat your skin, you got to treat your blood sugar and your circulatory system. And by the way, the crux and the heart of this entire entire field is the blood and the circulatory system. All right. That's all the time we have for today. Thanks so much for listening, friends. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back at you next week with more good health information on the Bright Side. Check out my blog, PharmacistBen.com. You can order products directly off the website. And if you're interested in checking out some super high-end skincare products, vitamin C and vitamin A skincare products, head over to TruthTreatments.com, TruthTreatments.com. Also, if you want to purchase the Bergamot products, you can go to BrightSideHealthProducts.com. Thanks for listening, friends. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have an awesome, spectacular, beautiful day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now. Yeah.